Hi guys, it's your girl Chatty Patty and I am back with another edition of my favorite feature on YouTube, Fashion Fridays. Hooray! I'd like to thank all of those that have watched the first edition of Fashion Fridays and all I can say it will get better from here on out. Now, this Friday, I went somewhere and I really was so hyped about it. I planned it. I'm like, gosh, I'm gonna, you know, videotape everything while I'm shopping everything and... You know what happens when you plan. It just never happens the way you want it. So it didn't happen the way I wanted to, but I'm still going to show you my haul from where I went to this week. And it's still fashion, so I'm still calling it Fashion Friday. And this is recorded on today, which is Friday, and you will see it today. And um, in case you're wondering, this um, look that I have on, I just did it. It's a, a look of the day that I did on another video that I will upload either before this one or after. It is my smoky eye look that I did from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And it was inspired by Cynthia from Housewives of Atlanta you know the model one she always wear that very dark smoky black look so I did this look and the tutorial will be up so stay um, check that out as far as my nails I have on OPI's lucky lucky lavender it is so cute I know it's fall and it's all about dark colors but I could not resist putting this on I love the colors it's on my fingers and on my toes um, the earrings that I'm wearing are from Rachel Stewart. It was this was one of her little free items she gave me for um, purchasing um, some accessories from her line. Please Google her or follow her on Twitter. She's there, and I did make a separate video showing you that haul. So I'm wearing her earrings. This top that I'm wearing is a denim button up. Um, mid sleeve um, top. I got this from JC Penny. People don't sleep on JCPenney. JCPenney is my favorite go-to store, despite the fact that some people think it's so old-fashioned. It is not. You got Charlotte Ronson's clothes there. You got a lot of other, um, a lot of other fabulous clothing lines that are there. So let's get started on Fashion Fridays now. I've been waiting for years, and I'm not talking about one year, two year. I'm talking about a good five years for this store to even open up anywhere near my vicinity. And if you live in South Florida, you will know what I'm talking about. It is H&M. I finally got a chance to go to the newly opened H&M that is in West Palm Beach. Now, I live in Miami. West Palm Beach is about a 45-minute drive from me. Um... And I was like, my God, I don't want to drive all this way. And the next, you know, it's like it was not worth the trip. All I could say, it was so worth the trip. I picked up some great items that I'm going to be showing you. I was excited. And um, I I was just like, just so excited about just going to H&M and just being there and just be like yes you know now i can do hauls and i'm like hey here's this from h&m instead of waiting when i go to new york because that's the only time i go to h&m is when i'm in new, new york now i could be in the comfort of my own city drive a 45 minutes away to palm beach gardens mall and go to h&m so people if you live in south florida and you have not gone there yet please check it out it is so worth it there were so many items i wish i had more money i could have spent because I wanted to grab everything so um let, let's go get on with the haul so here's my bag hooray big and heavy um holiday style bag from h&m and i'm just going to pull out the first item that i saw the first item that i grabbed when i went there was this handbag what i loved about this handbag is the saddle style handbag and i really am a person that I love a big handbag, not something bulky like a tote bag because I'm not really into totes like that. But something like this is something I can wear every day. It's small enough that I can wear every day and it's big enough that I can carry just about everything in here. Here's the inside of the bag. There are a lot of room. There's a zip compartment in here that I like to put my cell phone because I have two cell phones and I don't like my um, cell phone to get all scratched up. I'm just very anal like that and i love this long strap because you can just go ahead and sorry if the view is like oh you can just go ahead and have it across your body i'm just going to pick up my camera so you can kind of see here yeah so i love the straps it's not real leather but it is um very comfortable and i cannot wait to wear it now this bag cost here 
$24.99. Sorry, the light from... Okay, there you go. $24.95. And it's worth it. I love this bag. Can't wait to wear it. Okay. The next item I got was... Everybody knows for the fall winter season, it's all about camel fabric, camel material. So I bought these camel shorts. Now, what I love about these shorts is the fabric. It is like a, I don't want to say wool, but it feels like a nice wool. Um, it doesn't even say the fabric in here. It's like a wool fabric. It's very soft, something you can wear in the winter time wear a pair of tights underneath it and rock it with a pair of either riding style boots or a pair of platform um, pumps with this. I would love to wear this with a white crisp top belted with a nice brown tan belt or even a dark belt and give it a nice, I would say a, like a nice, um, what do you call that style? I don't know I can't think of it in my head but you guys know what I'm talking about so this is what I bought and this cost $24.95 and I really really love these shorts and I love that it's not like short and like revealing it's very casual very um I don't want to say Hamptons it just reminds me of like London Oxford style. Okay, I'll say Oxford. That's what I'm going to describe it. So that is these shorts here and they're just comfortable and I'm excited about wearing that. I picked up this skirt. It was like, I just thought of very tribal prints, um, fabric kind of material um, with this kind of skirt. It has an elastic waist and I love that there are pockets here. The skirt is a kind of bit see-through which I'm now seeing right here but that's okay and this skirt is like a high-waisted you wear it a high-waisted style skirt I would either wear this with a nice silk blouse pair it with a nice pair of red pumps a nice leather jacket to give it a nice soft harsh look together but I just think this would be so cute to wear during the winter and what I love is that you can also wear these with tights so it doesn't matter that it's see-through if you wear tights underneath it you would be just fine and this was priced at $17.95 so love this love this love this now I have another item I bought I'm probably gonna wear this next week I was thinking like oh god should I show this and then everyone's gonna know what I'm wearing then again I really don't care so it's my video I'm sure the whole world doesn't even watch it and who cares at least you know I bought it anyways I saw this dress it was like a nice olive green colored dress it is very see-through and what I love is just this here this ruffled um style here with these um rhyme these studs on here and my boobs are kind of well they are big and I was afraid that it would make my breast look even bigger but when I wore it it really didn't it didn't cover like my breast it was just basically on the neck area and I love this because it's long enough you can wear this with a dress and it's also it's also a decent length that you could pair it with a pair of tights a pair of pumps um, underneath it and rock this for the winter time how I'm gonna wear it I'm not sure I think I may wear this as a dress unless I get a pair and I have a pair of pumps I bought that I have not worn yet that I have in mind to wear with this so that is the dress that I bought well I'm calling it a dress because that's what I think I'm gonna wear it as and this was priced at $29.95 and Basically, that is all that I got at H&M. All together came up to about $104 and 16 cents, if you want to be correct. <laughs> Let me see. Yep, 104.16. It was so worth it. Um, if I had more money that I was willing to spend, I would have bought more. They have some gorgeous items in. I don't know. It's just something different. I mean, there's n no offense to um, Forever 21 and those places, but 
everyone's wearing Forever 21. I wear Forever 21. I still shop there, but not as often. But when I do shop at Forever 21, it's more for casual. If I'm going out for drinks, if I'm going out to eat or the mall or something, I would wear that. But for going out like late at night and stuff, I just don't do it. I mean, it's many times I've gone out and I've seen girls that are wearing the exact same outfit I'm wearing and we're both wearing it at the same time. And it's embarrassing. I mean, not to say you're, you're too good to be seen in the same outfit, but it's kind of like, it's, it, it's a bit too much now. So I'm glad that there's an H&M down here now. Well, I mean, even though it's a good drive away, it's so worth it. And look at all these items I bought and it came up to about a hundred, one hundred and, you know, four dollars. It, it, at Forever 21, it would be about the same thing, but I've gotten clothes at H&M and the quality is much better than at Forever 21. And, um... I'm sure there's people that a lot of people shop there and you may see someone in the same outfit as yours, but I mean, there's only like one H&M anywhere near here. It's West Palm and it's Orlando, so I don't know what you could say. Um, I wish this video was much more exciting like the haul video, but you know, it's still the same thing. I'm still going shopping. I'm still displaying stuff. I am adding a new feature on my blog. It's not going to be part of Fashion Fridays, but it would be a new thing. All I'm going to say is fit for 50. That is all I'm going to say. Fit for 50. It's going to start hopefully next week. Fingers crossed. Fit for 50. And it's going to be new features I'm going to add on my blog. Also, if there's anything that you want me to do on Fashion Fridays, if there's any boutiques you want me to go to or anything you want me to try shopping at, I don't know what it is because I can't, you know, I, I don't want to do things that you guys aren't interested in. Show me what you're interested in seeing on this channel, whether it's more makeup, more fashion, neither. You just want me to talk and rant about TV shows. Let me know. Leave a comment, a message, whatnot. And, um, I will go ahead and answer you back. I, I, I respond to all of you guys. If there's no one that I respond to, then maybe it's because I just didn't see the message. I don't know. Um, other than that, I look out for this look that I did and I already did the video on this. So you will see that I may do another video after this. I'm not sure it, if I'm bored or something and I have nothing to do, I will upload another video. So, um, until then... Thank you for watching this edition of Fashion Fridays. Woo! Okay, let me know. I'm sounding stupid now. Let me shut up. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching this edition of Fashion Fridays. I am only trying to get better at this. Um, I hope it's as exciting to you as it is to me because I'm a, a shopping addict. I mean, if I had more money, I, I would spend like $500 if I had to, and I, I've done that, spend $500 in one day in just numerous stores, I would do it, but a chick is kind of broke right now, so <laughs> I got to save and budget. Anywho's, I'm not going to rumble and ramble anymore. I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, thanks for the support. I love you guys. You're the reason why I'm doing this. Have a nice weekend, and... See you next time. Bye.